Hi everybody, it's Ia Patsy here, and I'm doing the uh, love bite for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the uh, time period between mid-December and mid-January 2018. So mid-December 2017 and mid-January uh, 2018. So the way this goes is I spread 10 cards from the uh, Romance Angel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and then we get uh, five cards from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck by Kim Dwyer. All right, the first five cards of the Romance Angel Oracle are for you and the second five cards from that same deck are for your partner or for uh, information that you may need to know about your love life, things that are concerning you. Okay, so this is either going to be for your partner or for your situation. And then the last five cards from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck are going to give us uh, some more insight into what's going on, uh, some affirmations, some affirmations that you may need to uh, employ. And then after that, we'll get two, we'll get a card or two from the uh, Until Today deck by Iyanla Van Zandt. And then after that, we will be um, going with the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic, um, which is a new uh, set of cards for me. I just opened it up uh, last week or so. I did an unboxing online, and you're free to, uh, you know, check my channel, and you can watch that, okay? The live boxing, unboxing on Facebook. And um, so... The uh, tarot sexual magic uh, has some images on their cards that some people may find offensive. It's beautiful, it's nature, but there are naked bodies, men and women, in, um, and different you know types of sexual activity. So for some people that may find that offensive, um, you'll be able to tell when I'm going to uh, transition to that part of the reading, and then you're free to sign off. The rest of us who remain to uh, go through that, there are three cards. One is going to be your desires, your fears, and then the lessons. And I'll be reading them viewing my, um, intuitively along with getting um, hints and in, in, um, instructions from the guidebook, the little, the small pamphlet that comes with those cards with only 14 pages of it is dedicated to English. So. Um, but seems to be getting a really good response from uh, the people who have watched them, all the signs that uh, I've been able to do. It's because this, Libra, you and one more sign are the last ones and I'm trying to get it done in time for, uh, this is Christmas Eve right now, by the time I'm finished doing this it'll be Christmas Day, but I wanted to get them done so that you all could have all your readings. And then I could feel like I'd accomplished something, and then I can worry about January next week. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start your reading off. Like I said, first 10 cards are from the Romance Angel Oracle. First cards are for you. And the first card that you got today, Libra, was separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, well, it's holiday time, so that could be expected. Maybe you're going to go spend time with your family. Maybe they're going to go spend time with theirs. Um, maybe you're in college or school. You're going home for a Christmas break. So you're uh, or the end of the semester. If you're on a trimester system, it would be the end of the semester, I guess. But anyway, all right, separation. That's the first card. Next card, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe if you're going to be away from each other, you'll be missing one another, and you'll be having phone calls, you know, those late-night, long-distance phone calls. Or, um, you know. Or maybe before you um, depart from one another, you're going to have some 
heart to heart conversations. It could also be that you are separating from your partner and maybe you're going to be having some conversations. Maybe you're going to be going to counseling, um, you know, or just maybe between the two of you, you're all going to sit down and try to hash things out, see what's the truth and see where you stand. So that you know whether or not you could uh, remain in this relationship or if it's time to uh, separate permanently, right? Now the next card was worth waiting for. All right, so maybe this is saying that through the separation, you'll be having heart-to-heart -heart conversations and it'll be worth waiting for when the two of you get back together, right? When vacation's over or the holidays are finished or whatever the separation uh, situation is. Divine timing is at work in your love life and re reconciliation between you and your partner will be worth waiting for. All right? So that's very good. Next card that came up in your reading, the Libra, is deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So when someone's not being honest about their feelings or doesn't have, this doesn't have to be terrible like the person is a liar or maybe they just don't want to make it so obvious how they really feel or how much they miss you okay or maybe they're lying to themselves about what they feel all right um or it could be that someone is being deceptive they're holding back information <clears throat> they're not uh, coming forth with the whole truth even though you're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations and you're trying to you know you you think that this person is being honest with you but the whole time no they're showing you one face because they are uh, got something else that they're got on their mind or they have another plan that you're not aware of right uh, the next card here is to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So maybe you need to make the effort to get to the bottom of this and find out what this deception is. Okay? Or maybe you're the person that's being deceptive and maybe angels are telling you to knock it off. Stop for, stop being uh, a false, stop showing your partner a false face. Stop getting their hopes up if you don't have any intention of repairing this relationship, okay? But if you do, make the effort and stop, you know, throwing shit in the game that don't need to be. This person, is it depend, if you're having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, this person is expecting that you're being honest with them. So what you're doing is not fair because if they're putting forth effort you're not so you need to meet their effort you know your effort and then effort needs needs to meet okay it could be that they're not making the effort and so you feel deceived but still that's things that you all need to talk about and if you haven't already gotten someone else like a counselor or a clergy person or somebody involved in this maybe something that you need to to consider okay at the bottom of your deck was this this could be the one you have already met the romantic partner that you seek okay so could be that the person that you're involved in this is the person that you're supposed to be with okay so let's keep that in mind as we continue to see what else these cards have to say these bottom five cards here are your partner's feelings about you or it could be things that you need to know about this relationship or about your love life in general new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and this is the first card in the second part of this reading it could be for your your friend your lover your mate 
So, that fell directly underneath the card that came up for you as separation. So, maybe while you all are apart, your partner may meet someone else. Or maybe they're afraid that you're going to meet someone else while they're apart. Next card, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Now, this could be saying to your partner that that inkling that they're having, that while you're separated, you may meet someone new. Might be They may be on the right track with that. And that is something that is worth exploring, that their intuition may be leading them to the correct answer. Or just be that this is about you. And they're saying that this separation from you, maybe it is a new love, you know, maybe this is uh, somebody you just met, you know, um, if this is something that has to do with coming back home for college, that's why the separation. Maybe this is someone you just met when you started uh, school this fall. So that's a new love, okay, and the heart-to-heart -heart conversations are stirring up those romantic feelings. Possible. And that sounds pretty good there. Next, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. But it came reverse. So, this is not your soulmate. And the card that came directly above that for you was worth waiting for. So, this is not your soulmate. Your soulmate's worth waiting for. It could be what they're saying to you. But this is not every person that you fall in love with or who you meet or who you date is your soulmate. Some people are just time fillers. Next card here that you got was attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. But this again was in the reverse. And that fell directly under deception. So, the attraction is off and it could be because someone is not showing coming to the table with who they really are they're um being deceptive about who they really are or the nature of this relationship or what it is that they're expecting out of it it's like they're reeling you in or you're reeling someone else in but you're actually this is just something to do you, you have no intention of uh being honest or showing your full true self to this person the next cards that came for your partner were you deserve love and you are lovable and it was also accompanied by another card that said enjoy the bliss of holiday time together honeymoon that again came with you deserve love so maybe it's telling them that if you don't make the effort or if you or whoever it is is not coming with the true face that they should enjoy themselves during this holiday during this vacation and love themselves love themselves this could be the one, but if somebody's not coming with their true uh, face, or right, if someone's being dishonest, don't waste your time. They'll get it together. If it's meant to be, they will get it together, and they will come back the right way, and you'll know that. Okay, so those were the Romance Angel Oracle cards. Yeah, I think somebody is um, playing games. Some pl people, you know, maybe they're not as mature as they need to be. And you 
you're not getting one of the people, one of you, you or your partner are not getting what you deserve or not getting, are not, you, you, the person's not meeting you with the same effort or honesty. So that's something that you need to be aware of, something that you need to pay attention to. There could be someone new coming in that's going to stir romantic feelings for your partner, for you. And maybe that is the deception that's going on. Maybe they met this person even before you all had a, a break from each other. Or maybe this is the cause for the, se the separation and you're not being honest about it. You're not explaining to them that you've met someone new. Or maybe they're suspicious that you have. Or maybe they've met someone new. But someone is not being honest. And someone is lying about their attraction. Maybe maybe someone is lying about the attraction to this new person. That's the deception. Because the attraction fell underneath the deception card. So it could be that maybe you've had those conversations and uh, even brought this person or this uh, new situation up to your partner and they denied it and they said, you know, you're crazy, blah, 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 I love you, na, na, na. But uh, they were lying. They may have been lying. And they have found someone else attractive. They just don't want to tell you about it, all right, because they don't know what's going to happen. Right? Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. So why admit to something? There's some people who will deny until they can't. Deny until they die. Now, the next five cards that came up in this reading for you, Libra, are from the uh, Conscious Spirit Oracle cards. Okay, so the first card that you got in this part of the reading was... Gratitude. I'm grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons each brings. Okay. But this was in the reverse. So it says to me that you may not have been showing any gratitude. You taking things for granted. Feeling like you're entitled to something, perhaps. If you have not been in the habit of, of showing your gratitude to your partner, to the divine, for all the blessings that you have, no matter how small or how minor you may think they are, you have something. And sometimes when we fail to uh, show our appreciation or our gratitude for the things that we have been given, and sometimes we lose those things. So this could be what is going on. That may be the reason that you're having such a hard time in this situation with this person is because you failed to show appreciation and gratitude to them or to the divine for bringing this person into your life. Next card that came up for you was release. I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. This card was in the reverse also, Libra. So, Maybe you're holding on to things that you shouldn't be holding on to and that you're, you're not focusing on things that are of a, a higher plane, you know? You, you may still be working on low level, you know? Maybe you haven't, maybe you haven't ascended to the place where the divine is, is prepared to give you anything yet that you have a lot of lessons to learn and they're waiting for you to learn it the next card that you got was spirit guides i open my heart to my guides and trust in the wisdom that they share with me 
if you got this in the reverse, also Libra, that means that to me it's saying that you are not being open to the information and to the guidance that you are not taking your spirituality seriously. And it could be because you're young. That might be the excuse. But you're never too young to get it together. Next card that you got here was I invite was Archangel Gabriel. I'm sorry. I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. Beautiful. This is about communications and and prayer and your intuition. But this was in the reverse also. And this was underneath the deception card. Between deception in the reverse and attraction. No, deception wasn't in the reverse. Between deception and attraction in the reverse. Got poor Archangel Gabrielle in the reverse too. So you're not using your intuition. You're not. You, 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 you. you why wow, I'm you're making <laughs> Libra making me stutter. Oh my goodness, you're not bringing hope. You're not even focusing on that. You, maybe this, maybe the, maybe you've just been doing like uh, doing you hanging out in the frat, doing you know I don't know, but you're not focused on anything spiritual. Surprised you even watching the video. <laughs> next card that you got here was sacred space and this is seven all right so this is about divinity all right completion <sighs> resting after hard work i find peace security and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty okay look at that beautiful waterfalls relaxing but this was in the reverse too, Libra. Between make the effort and you deserve love and honeymoon. You're not making a sacred space. You're not listening to the guides and the ancestors. You're not even listening to the archangels. You are not releasing anything that doesn't serve your higher purpose. And you're not showing any gratitude. So you're just living day to day, not focusing on anything spiritual outside of yourself, maybe trying to get involved in romantic relationships because of just the, you know, basic sexual, romantic human urges that people have. But even in that, you're not showing, you're not showing the um, honesty. And the bottom of the deck <laughs> was in reverse also. A nurturing heart, mother. I protect I am a protective spirit and reach out to all life with love and compassion. And that was in the reverse also. Maybe you just don't care about nobody. Alright? Maybe you just don't care. And that could be the truth. Maybe you just don't care. Maybe you are just about what is good for you. Libra. Maybe you're just not or just you're not feeling like it right now. You know, maybe you're maybe maybe you're something you're you're concerned about something else, okay? Maybe you're doing your your schoolwork, you don't have time for romance or anything like that, and that's good. You know, that, that's good that you're focusing on that. But if that's what it is, then why you would draw anybody into any kind of romantic entanglements with you? Getting someone's hopes up when you have no intentions of making the effort. Hmm. Okay, well, it's pretty interesting. Different. Every single one of those conscious spirit oracle cards plus the bottom of the deck were in the reverse. 
That's a little crazy. Hmm. All right, so let's see if we can get some further information about this situation for you. From the Until Today cards by Iyala Van Zandt. All righty. <laughs> Divine action is always working on my behalf. Divine action is always working on my behalf. I don't even think I've ever seen this card come up in a reading before. And that's all right. Until today, you may have been trying to do for yourself what only God can do for you. Just for today, be devoted to trusting that God is on the job, doing what needs to be done. Okay, so this is telling you to start relying on God, to trust that God is doing what needs to be done. Let go and let God, let them be in control of the situation and you stop trying to control the situation, okay? Because this could be the one and you messing up, that's, that's what I'm getting. That this person that you're involved with could be the person. That could be the one. Or some kind of, at least some person who's going to be playing an important role in your life. And uh, you're squandering this opportunity by playing games and being deceptive and being selfish. Because that's all that this is saying with all of these um, uh, reversed costs the conscious spirit oracle cards is that you're just standing in your own way that you're not open you're not being open I'm gonna see. okay one more okay there are times when the right road takes a wrong turn and it's okay okay so this is like I guess God is gonna let you get away with your immaturity until today, you may not have realized that it's not loving. Okay, I'm sorry. Until today, you may have realized that it's not loving to remain in situations that aren't working for you, hoping that they'll get better. Just for today, realize that when you've done all you can do, there's simply no more you can do, and it's not healthy or productive to try. Okay? So maybe you need to separate from this relationship. All right? And that you... You've done all that there is to do, and it's time to uh, just let it go, not keep trying, not keep uh, putting in efforts that are phony anyway, because somebody's going to deceptive face you, more than likely, from what I'm getting. And just let it go. Let and give this person, this person who likes you, who cares about you, who give them a chance to find you love. Okay, give them a chance to to do their work. Then maybe one day you'll get back together. All right, but not. It's not fair for you to waste this person's time. You know, and it's okay because you're just freeing them up for them to go. And take care of other business, other matters. It's not all about you all the time. So. But that's what I'm getting here. That is what I'm getting here. So let's, let's free that person so that they have the opportunity to do what they want to do. Which is to be grateful and to be in alignment with their life's path right okay so that would be the end of your reading or your initial love bite libra so at this point of the reading i'm going to be uh going to the uh tarot sexual mag of magic of sexual magic this late on time okay uh excuse me please we have, uh, we're going to get three cards from that deck. Hmm. <laughs> three cards from this, <laughs> three cards from the deck. The first card is going to be your desires. The second card is going to be your fears. And the third card is going to be the lessons 
that you'll take away from this experience or this situation. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle these cards and see what we get. All right, and I, as I said, I'll be using my intuition along with the uh, information that came in the guidebook with these cards. Okay, so in the meantime, while I'm trying to get these three cards for you, um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and for um, hanging in there with me these uh, months that I've been on YouTube. It's been a wonderful experience, and I'm just excited and I'm very happy that this is the path that um, my my ego and that the divine wanted me to go on because I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it and it it satisfies a part of me that I always wanted to be able to do. And I thank goodness, I thank God that I have this gift and that it's been passed to me and that I'm learning more and more about my gifts every day and uh, learning uh, about all these different uh, synchronicities in my life and uh, the ability to be able to share to make these recordings that um, I know in the future my ch grandchildren my children the grandchildren will be able to see uh, and hear my voice you know that's really wonderful. Right there is such a blessing to me because I don't have that for my grandparents. I don't have their voices recorded. I have them in my mind, the ones that I knew, and then I have grandparents that I never met, and they died before my father was even a toddler. You know, he lost his parents, so he didn't even remember what they looked like. Their voices don't even know what, don't even have a picture. Or even anybody to tell me what they looked like because they were my aunts and them were so young when their parents died that by the time I got to be of the age where I would be able to ask, there wasn't a lot that they remembered. So we are uh, grateful for just even the technology that this uh, is available for future generations. Hopefully. <laughs> mm, I say. Thank you, Amy. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck was Nine of Wands. Right? Nine is the uh, signifies in Ifa, the Yoruba faith. That's ego. That's ancestors. So that means the ancestors are speaking. And this is wands. So that's uh, a fire sign. Mm, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and Leo. So wands, nine of wands talks about something that is that you're ready to let go of. Ready to let go of something. Stop fighting about something. Stop struggling. Okay, so this depicts um, a young lady and a man who are sitting, uh, sitting on some logs, all right? And uh, there's someone behind them with the wand with the fire, so it's reminding you of this there is a fire sign involved in this scenario. And this young lady is dressed very scantily, yet dressed. And uh, she's talking to this, this guy, this big guy. And she's got his, her arm, her hand around the back of his neck like she's pressing into it and she's talking to him very intently and <laughs> hmm. 
She looks like she's got she's got one hand on her waist and the other hand maybe across her mouth like this you know like she's trying to stop her from talking or hushing her up and this person in the back this guy with the uh oh, with the wand with the fire he's also leading the goat He's got he's he's got him like a rope or a chain around the goat, and the goat seems like he's not trying to budge, even though this guy's walking ahead. The goat doesn't seem like he's going. He's just like stretching his neck while the other guy's pulling him, but he doesn't look like he's ready to follow him. And we have two birds here. One is a dove. One is another type of bird. So they're two different type of birds. And then and then there's another bird that's coming in here. I think that's like a swallow. Another kind of different kind of bird. So these people may be different. Maybe they don't even understand each other when they speak. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, maybe maybe they're foreign to each other. He's very strong though. He looks like he's very strong. But she doesn't look like she's no lightweight either. Definitely sexy. But she's, she's not on his lap, per se. She's sitting across with her legs draped over his legs. But she's still sitting on the log. But she's also keeping him from moving, from getting up. She's very, it is very intent, whatever's going on. Uh, because of that, the grip that she has on his neck, it's very obvious. And then her, the, the way she's got her hand at his chest also, it seems like it's very strong. So maybe they were fighting. She doesn't have on any shoes or any stockings. And he's basically fully dressed except his... His shirt is, his jacket is open. That's not even a shirt. It looks like it's his jacket. So maybe she was trying to stop him from leaving or stop him from going. Let's look in the pamphlet and see what Nine of Wands is talking about. Nine of Wands. A situation that is blocked by doubt and you have to hurry to resolve it because this cannot go on forever the magic of three little birds caressing okay so this is about trying to resolve the situation because Things are not are not jiving. Things are not matching. Things, the future is in doubt. Things are not moving along. Things are not moving in the direction that you want. Things are stagnant. And and it's, it's going to end if someone doesn't take charge, all right? Some, if someone doesn't step up to the plate, then 
this is not going to get resolved and these people are not going to be able to to stick it out they're not going to be able to stay together okay so that is the bottom of the deck so that's the energy maybe behind the rest of this little spread here okay so in your hopes is another nine the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles now this is a guy a man who is uh, hovering over this woman very aggressively I feel all right he's a big guy too and she's either passed out or dead and he's cutting her hair he's, he's got a lock of her hair that he's pulled up and he's snipping off seems like there's something going on outside there destruction some kind of fight some problems outside of their window Some kind of struggle is going on outside. She's knocked out, it seems. Now she has, this is about uh, coins, this is pentacles. So she has this big gold coin with, her, with a heart in the middle of it. And she's got her hand around it. But it's not in her hand. It's like she was very close to it. Again, not completing it. Almost there, but not. So. Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what's that about. This is about Dominion. The magic of the lock of hair. Reserve and discretion bear secret and wild. Reserve and discretion bear secret, wild, and wonderful loves in which two people nourish each other. Really? <laughs> mm. I don't know. They don't look like anybody's being nourished there. Look to me like he's taking something from her. Like he's he's robbing her of her strength. Cutting that hair, right? Hair is ego, right? And in the Bible, Samson and Delilah, the strength was in Samson's hair. And he lost his strength when uh, Samson, when uh, Delilah revealed that that was the source of his strength. He got a haircut. Now, dominion is someone having control, right? Or someone who is supposed to take charge of something. This is not the same guy because this guy here. Oh, maybe this person this this guy might be this guy that's yeah because this this fella here has curly hair this guy here has straight hair the person who is back here pulling the, the goat that doesn't want to leave he seems to have straight hair and kind of scruffy so this guy hmm this this guy may have maybe taking advantage of the situation he knows that there is some There's some uh, problem here. And he may have come in and taken advantage of her. And she wasn't able to fight back. 
Cause uh, hmm. he could have been jealous of that, and he wanted to get some of what it was, and so he came in. So maybe Libra, maybe this is you wanting to get involved in a relationship, try to find your way in somewhere. Or you de are you desiring to be um, dominant over someone? That you want somebody to uh, not relent, but just give in? You want them to recognize your strength, your power, that you're in control, or that you could be in control. So this is your desire. The next card you have over here is Temperance. Okay, now Temperance is the card of Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. All right, and fire is showing up here wands this is fire signs and outside of this window this uh whatever's going on over there it seems like there's some fire could be something burning outside could be what it is that she succumbed to the to the fumes of the fire that's going on outside and he's taking advantage to, of that this is temperance okay Temperance is 14. Yeah, 14. One and four is five. Okay. Five is love. In the um in the five, that's Oshun's number. Oshun. She's yellow and orange and gold. So that could be that. Oshun is a goddess. Uh, uh, Orisha that is about love. All right. Um, hmm. And the sweet rivers and sweet waters. And this woman is pouring water from one vessel to the other, trying to reach a balance. So this is about balance. And this is about patience. Hmm. This is very strange though. Her face, she looks like, <clears throat> she looks like her eyes are closed while she's pouring this water. So she's really not watching what she's doing. She's doing, she's going on her fields, you know. But it also looks like her face is bruised. Like she's been hurt. Hmm. This odd, just odd the way she's sitting there. Hmm. And there are cranes behind her. Cranes, those kind of birds are, are flying behind her. She's pouring things from one vessel to the other. This vessel that she's pouring into, it looks like it's already very, very full and she's still pouring. It looks a lot smaller than this one too, that vessel that she has in the other hand. It looks a lot smaller. So she's pouring something very large into a very smaller container and she's not watching what she's doing. And she's sitting in a kind of awkward position also. That's strange. Okay, so let's see what that. Now this is a the fear. Okay. Tetris. Discontent. Fil filter of love. Friendly but cool relations. 
to be warmed up with the magic of plants. The filter of love sparks a slumbering desire and restores harmony to the relationship. Discontent. Hmm. Discontent. Could be. But I know she, she doesn't look too happy. She looks like she's been beat up a lot, but she's still trying to be to balance. Like she's still doing what's expected or what her she's still doing her job even though she's been hurt. She's been beat up. Now these cards don't necessarily have anything to do with the right away deck except they're using some of the um, the base of it uh, basis of it but there's twist on it so hmm okay so this is the same young lady here Okay, so she's waiting. She's being patient, but she's been hurt. You're afraid that you're going to get hurt. You're afraid that you're not going to be able to keep things in balance. You're afraid that you're, you may, excuse me. Oh, excuse. Mm. You're not going to be content. You want there. You want to restore harmony. You want to get a, a understanding. But you're afraid that that's not going to happen. You're afraid that that is not going to happen. Failure to protect you. I got that. I got that just came across to me. Maybe you're afraid that he's not going to be able to protect you from him because he's not going to be there. He's he he's he's going to be off doing something else. He might be off fighting or taking care of whatever else is going on out there. Meantime, this guy's taking advantage. Hmm. And that's what you're afraid of. That he will leave you unprotected. And maybe that's why you're caressing and gripping him so hard, like, not to leave you. Maybe you're afraid you, that this was going to happen. So maybe your desire was for him to protect you. Okay, the next card here is the Knave of Wands. Okay, so that's like a page. And this is a lesson. Okay. These two people look like they've had a long relationship for... Um, a long amount of time, many years. All right, you see this tree behind them is big, grown, lots of branches, looks strong. This again is one, so there may be someone that's in this scenario for you who is uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Oh. Uh. This is a couple that have been through a lot together, together and they still have a lot of passion for each other. She feels safe with him. And he feels like 
He worships her. He's protective of her. So the lesson cling to each other, stay strong for each other, to rely on each other, to build on a relationship. Let me see. Knave of Wands. Knave of Wands. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Mm. Knave of Wands. Abandon. The magic of the olive branch. The eccentricities of character do not necessarily lead to reliability. You must look beyond appearances to see the essence of the feelings. Abandon. Nice. Looking beyond appearances. Okay, so you may have thought, Libra, you may have thought that this guy was going to be the person that would be able to protect you from this person back here because you thought he was a scary guy. And he wasn't able, this guy wasn't able to protect you because he was nowhere around. You had tried to be patient and wait for them, but you still got hurt. Don't rely on appearances. Sometimes people are not who they appear to be. And the people that you think that you can rely on, you cannot. Someone wearing a deceptive face in this relationship, making you think that you can rely on them, and you can't. So, Libra. There may be you or someone that you're involved with is putting on, making you or you're making someone think that you're going to be there for them, that they're going to be able to rely on you, and you're not going to be there or they're not going to be there for you. And I think what the Spirit is trying to tell you is you need to free yourself of the situation. And give someone else a chance to come correct, come clean for your partner or for yourself. So, I hope this resonated with you, Libra. I hope um, that this um, made some sense to you. Um, I'd appreciate it, though, if any one of you who um, are more familiar with these uh, cards than I am. If there's some um, definitions or some uh, symbolism that I missed, um, or something that you may be able to uh, share with me or the collective uh, community about these cards and uh, messages that are contained, you know, I'd love to hear from you. Send an email. 2pbtarot7 at gmail.com. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if this resonated with you. All right. What do you think about using these cards um, as part of a love bite or a romance reading? Okay. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to uh, getting your input. Okay. As we learn. 
and go on this journey together. All right, so I appreciate you hanging in there. I'm waiting for your reading so long, but I want to be able to uh, do the best that I can, and I want to do it when I'm feeling up to it and when um, I'm not rushed, all right, and when I have the energy, because this takes a lot, you know, all these people on YouTube that are doing these readings, so it's not easy, it's a lot, it, it, it takes a lot out of you, it's a lot of energy that's uh, being spent physically, mentally, emotionally, and then trying to upload it, that's a whole different <laughs> uh, exertion of energy, okay, so we just thank you for allowing, allowing us to build this relationship that we're working on with you, and that uh, we're going to look forward to more and more um revelations and more inspirations from spirit and more guidance um as we travel towards our destinies and we learn how to share because we have to rely on each other more than ever now okay going into the next year so thank you so much for liking sharing subscribing okay and I will be um, talking to you soon in January. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And uh, Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. And uh, we'll be talking to each other soon in January. I love you all. Thank you so much for allowing me into your lives. All right? And for you coming into mine. Thanks so much. And we'll be speaking very soon. As usual, amen. Ashe. Alafia and peace.